Okay, I just want to take a moment to showcase this. Oh, I'm standing on baby kales. It's the problem with letting stuff go to seed. There's uh, little kales and turnips and things that started popping up in the pathways. But what I'm here to look at is this very cool being. So it's a pepper, hot pepper that Tosca got from a friend. And I want to figure out the name of it, but it's very cool. It starts off, I don't know if I can point and look at the camera at the same time, but uh, at the top there's some sort of purplish blue small peppers. So that's the color they start off as. And then you can see in the center there, some yellow, sort of cream yellow colored. So they started off as blue and that's the color they went to. I saw something online, I think, about some kind of uh, Bolivian rainbow hot pepper, but I don't know. Let me figure out the name of this one because it's very cool. Next to that is a black currant, which is very happy, and I'm pretty sure that's Good King Henry right in front of me. Um, I thought it had been wiped out, but again, something survived that I thought was gone. And there's the monster, so I'm right in the sun. Monstrous stand of Here's some artichokes, comfrey, red currant, another one of those rainbow pepper plants behind that, horseradish, monstrous, and these volunteer sunflowers. We did not plant these. They're gorgeous. And Tosca counted it up to like 30 flowers on that one plant, that one stalk. This one right here, the other day. Very gorgeous. We got another one right here, a little one starting. Yep, and then all these baby kales. Volunteers as well, seed that was dropped. And then there's the upper garden. Bit of a chaotic mess, but that's the way it goes this time of year. Anyways, I was supposed to start off as a showcase of one plant. Maybe I can get close and show those peppers. So that's the color they start off as. And then they start to shift color. Let's see if I can get there, that one on the top. Shifting to cream, orange, yellow, whatever, you have to forgive me, I'm a little colorblind. And that one is the oldest, so that's the color it's going to right now, the rest of them. Very cool plant though.